Beyond their line of sight, complex computers the size of a mobile phone tell these troopers everything they need to know, and more. With the push of a button, this small seven-man infantry section can call for fire support from forces who pack a bigger punch. The principle behind the ACMS is synergy, with every component talking to every other component in the battlefield. With this, soldiers right down to section commanders and team leaders become part of a larger network that is connected to other combat resources of the battalion. Very safe and secure. Okay, I know where's my uh, men are. I can uh, allocate them. I can tell my commanders. I can know where I am, actually, and easy, easier to navigate at this point in time. We don't need maps. There's already a, a saved map inside, the 3D, 2D, and the air photo. So it's very simple to navigate through the places. The Battlefield Management System, or BMS, provides similar connectivity with the Singapore Army Leopard main battle tanks. It will allow the Leopard to link up with friendly forces, as well as to track enemy units in real time. The BMS is developed locally, uh, and uh, it's a system developed by our Defence Science Technology Agency, as well as our local defence industry. So for the BMS in Leopard itself, uh, it definitely going to help us in the, uh, improving our sense making and um, allowing us to have the information much faster and also allowing the ground commanders to make the decision faster and uh, employ the forces much effectively. This is the Singapore Navy's formidable class frigate. Its stealthy design makes it virtually undetectable by enemy radar and sonar. But what separates this ship from the rest of the Legion is her embedded intelligence, the locally developed Combat Management System, or CMS. The ship's cutting-edge system integrates all its combat systems to identify and assess possible threats, helping officers make quick and well-informed decisions. Well, the CMS assimilates a wide range and volume of data into sensible information. This simplifies the decision-making process to which the ship fires its missiles and other weapons. Now we are able to eliminate targets more quickly with a much smaller crew. In today's network-centric warfare, information is key. With command and control systems such as these, our SAF commanders are able to quickly assess the battlefield situation and seize the decisive advantage.